So our society is ridden with a lot of individuals who are hungry to get somewhere or hungry to have something. And this creates a lot of anxiety for a lot of people, but at the same time, it kind of makes people be willing to be vulnerable to things that they don't know. And sometimes that's not really a good place to be. It's the actuality show with daily Christian commentary videos. On this video, we are going to talk about money rituals. In South Africa, we're not even talking outside, we're talking over here at home. Things that are happening down here, y'alls are bugging out here. So this might be part one because on this one, I want to tackle it on two hands so that you will know whenever you see money ritual, sub subject, you know what the subject is as compared to the previous one. And so on this one, I'm going to tackle how this culture of money rituals has populated itself all the way from the Bible and we now see it in the present space where it is, where people are now just doing it out in the public openly, even communicating this particular thing and how it has now stepped into the church. And there's a video that I'm going to show you, which will stand the hair out of your... <clears throat> okay, this video, I couldn't watch it twice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you a video which I have not watched twice myself. This subject goes all the way back into Genesis. When we see the interaction between Eve and the snake, it's a promise of more than what you have. It's a David exhibiting it when he wants a particular woman who is married to another man, but he will go to the extent of actually killing that man in order for him to have. So this desire that kills man's um, love of life okay so that's what dies the love of life man is willing to expose himself to all kinds of things but then in the time when jesus is here the devil even tries that scheme to him okay and there is also another verse also later on in the chapters which actually relates to what happens between eve and what happens to jesus and so the devil comes and he tempts him in the things that you have this, you say you are this, you say you are the son of God. How about you do this? Okay, and if you can do this, I'll give you this. The idea of being dissatisfied with the present so that you can aspire for something else. Later on, we do hear the statement of what benefit is it if a man gains the whole wide world, but he loses his own soul. In the process, you will lose something. It might be your humanity or something which is very, very, it's foreshadowing for that video. <laughs> then you see the verse that comes up by in, in First John where he says, love not the world for all that is in the world is the last of the flesh, the last of the, last of the, and he lists them. He lists these three areas of temptation by which we should look at is that you're going to be tempted in these areas. If you can watch these areas, you will pretty much see the death of men's love for life to desiring something else this brings us straight into this video i'm gonna play it just a little bit of warning uh, it might sound like very mellow but it gets to a very very pitch high sound voice and that voice will creep you out so just a little bit of warning and let's get to it <laughs> I've only watched that video once. <laughs> I think last year is when I watched the video. And so today I really wanted to bring it back. Because I did see like uh, I did see that I have a kind of like a collection where they kind of lead up to other subjects and stuff. That video is so creepy. The voice of the man literally sounds like a creature in his scream. It's not like it's a high pitch. No, it's literally like it's something else speaking. The same way you had the the, the monkey speaking. You remember that monkey that was <laughs> that was cursing in the box. Uh, when it was being cast out and 
it's the same kind of a pitch voice. This man, they are saying that he did some funny weird rituals. He's standing next to his car. He's very expensive X5 or whatever car it is. And I don't know. The spirit that day, the spirit which he has submitted himself, decided to manifest. And in that manifestation, it makes him crawl like a snake. And then the voice comes out. Woo! Your, your hair just kind of stand. Y'all can tell me what kind of reaction that... If, if it's your first time seeing it. Y'all can tell me what kind of reaction that gave you. <laughs> but this actually then filters into what we know as miracle money. Okay? This subject of miracle money is not a Christian doctrine. Even from the start of Genesis, where we started earlier on with Eve, it's not the, the, the entire picture of what we see man's life to be. God says, out of the sweat of your hands, you will eat. But these people, they just want miracle something. Uh, a lot of it, of course, is faked. I'm going to show you how they faked it later on. There is a particular video that I'm still looking for. I had seen it earlier on this year on Instagram. When I find that video, you can definitely be sure I'm going to be showing you how they made it. That you could see the alerts in real time and whatnot. So I now found a video that actually explains that. But there is also the magic side of things. There is also the occultic side of things. You will know that they say that the snakes, when they are given to a person, they either attract money or they bring out money. And when there is a higher level of sacrifice, it's where they bring out money. This subject became extremely popular by the time of Uber Angel. We don't know what Uber Angel learned, where he learned. We don't know what taught him that this was a Christian theme. But he came with this thing. And it became very popular after that. A little reminder of a church that was in Limpopo. Where they started to get into this thing. And what ended up happening is that people died. That the ending of that story hasn't been told yet, you know. I think that story is still yet to come up, and I wonder where that that woman who was doing that stuff is right now, because those people who received the, some of that money they died. Okay, the stories were everywhere that the people died like this, like this, and it became a whole big thing. If a person is from there, yeah, holla back because. People might think I'm bluffing. <laughs> so there was a level of it which is ritualistic. I don't know if that particular one, but there were the stories that that was actually ritualistic. And that's where the danger is. When that stuff gets performed amongst us and you think it's Christian, you think God is giving you money <laughs> and God is giving you money. You think, yeah, this is the fish, the money out of the mouth of the fish. You're going to get in trouble when that kind of stuff starts happening amongst you. But this subject is because of their hunger that is untamed. When people do not tame their hungers, this is what they submit themselves to. The same way the people in the world are willing to sell themselves into danger of the cults, the same way church people are letting their hungers to go wild and they submit themselves to this kind of things. We're going to have this conversation. This was just the first episode. I just wanted to bring this particular videos here. First, this man who submitted himself to this thing and it speaks out of him and it's kind of like, yeah, I don't, that's what you, you, you needed to do in order for you to have the money. So, thank you. Thank you. And then there's also this one here where you see church people being involved in it and people are dying. The next video we might have to talk about the people that are giving the spirits that give people money actually don't even want them themselves. But that might be part of the second video or the third video. I don't know. Subscribe if it's your first time seeing any of my videos. And I'll see you later on other videos done today. They'll be done in the pink comments. Yeah, be good. Salute.